Hey, what's up everybody? Noah here for Adafruit. In today's Lair Belair, we're gonna take a look at last week's project. This is the mobile Raspberry Pi. And a lot of people have been asking me, can we make it for the Raspberry Pi B Plus? And if you were hearing the news, of course you've heard, the Raspberry Pi B2 has just released. So we're gonna go ahead and make this project work with both of those versions of the Pi. Because right now it's, it's, uh, it's been designed just for the A Plus. So here we are in 123D. Um, I have all the original design files available on Thingiverse and our Adafruit learning system, so you guys can pick that up there. And here's what it looks like when you open it up. This is, of course, the, um, the original file, the non-unioned file, so all the pieces are editable here. And the first thing I'll start off with is just deleting the components that pertain to the Raspberry Pi A Plus model. So we'll go ahead and just hide the main enclosure by clicking on it and hitting the Hide button. And then I'm gonna come in here and then just start deleting uh, some of the components here for the Raspberry Pi A+. Now, one thing you wanna leave is the, uh, the GPIO, uh, or at least the, the object that represents the GPIO, which is this little bar here. And I'm just gonna leave that there so that I can line up the B plus component and, and ensure that it's in the right place. So you wanna make sure that's still there. So now we've deleted all of the stuff <laughs> that, uh, that pertain to the, to the, the A plus, we're going to go ahead and insert um, the B plus component. So we'll come up here, and click on insert, click and browse my computer because that's where it is. And then I have this part here, just called the pi B plus dot one two three DX. It's going to open it and it's going to be over here off to the side. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll rotate it and move it into the into, into place there. So I'll start by rotating it here. And then we can just use the little navigation cube to help us uh, get the right view. So I'll just rotate this now. We can also type it in to quick it, to quick the to make it quicker. It's going to feel a little slow because there's a lot of components in there. And we'll just start moving it now. You of course want to be very patient because it is kind of slow, but definitely worth it. So I just moved it up there. And then I'll move it back this way. And I'm just going to move it where I think it'll be in, in, in the right spot. So we'll uh, use the measure tool in just a second to make sure that it is in the right spot. We can flip it around in the back to make, uh, make a better uh, movements over here. So we're getting there pretty close. Just about there. Okay, and that looks like it's pretty much in spot. We'll hit enter and before we click away, we're going to go ahead and group this. So we'll go over here to grouping and then click on group. Click away and then all the parts that were selected for the Raspberry Pi B are now uh, grouped. So we can just click it once and then move it around. What? So uh, the next thing uh, you'll notice uh, if you look at the, the ports here, or actually look at the battery. The battery looks like it's in, it's uh, intersecting with some of the, uh, like the, the, the Ethernet ports. So we'll just select it, hit Command uh, or Control T to, to move it around, and then we'll just move it this way over here. And I'll put a 0.5 there. So now it's away from the, uh, the standoff and the components there. So it's looking pretty good. And next thing you'll notice is that this uh, standoff is definitely in front of the ethernet. So we'll just go ahead and just delete that whole chunk and that part as well. So okay, we're looking pretty good now. Another thing you'll know is that uh, the component's a little bit too high. The B plus is a little too high. So we'll, we'll move it down um, by a millimeter, I believe. Again, just wait a second when you, when you select it because it takes a little bit for, uh, for that to, to select all the parts. Looks like I need to change it to 1.5 on the Z. Hit enter. Okay, it's looking better. Now, I took some measurements uh, before the tutorial to make sure that the GPIO is lined up with the PCB of the B+. So I'll go ahead and um, hide the, uh, the component there that was the, the power boost. And then I'll use the measure um, tool here to, to make sure that these uh, two edges have the right distance between them. It should be one millimeter, but it says here it's, it's 1.125, and that's just enough to throw off the tolerances. So what I'll do is I'll select the, uh, the Raspberry Pi B Plus component, 
and I'm just going to move it up by 0.125 so that it is lined up properly. So move it like that, and I'm just going to type in the values here. So 0, 0.125. Hit enter. And then just to verify that uh, that was the right spot, I'll hit uh, measure again, and then select the two edges here. Scroll down, and yep, distance is now one millimeter. And now the next thing is to measure uh, this edge to that edge to make sure that it's, it's, uh, it's lined up. And it should be uh, 7.25, but it is uh, 7.375. So again, I need to remove it. I need to move it uh, that way to the, over to the right by 0.125. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, positive. All right. So now we'll go ahead and measure it again to make sure that it's right. Should be, yep, 7.25. All right, so now that we know everything is where it ought to be, we'll go ahead and, s and show all the solids so that we can see um, how we have to modify the cutouts. I got this extra part. I'll just delete that. Uh, looks like I need to uh, select that, come up here, click on that button. That way I can only select the individual part. I'll just delete it. Okay. Next you'll notice that it looks like we have quite a bit of air, uh, spacing in between the, the edge of the enclosure here and the actual cutouts for the, uh, for the USB and the Ethernet. So what I'll do is I'll hide the enclosure again and then hit P on my keyboard and, and select the, uh, the faces here. And then I'll just pull them out far enough until, uh, until it reaches outside the enclosure. That way I can see how I have to cut those out. And there's a little bit of area there, but there's room for optimization. But for this tutorial, we'll just keep it like that, a little bit simpler. OK, it looks like we have everything where it needs to be. Nothing looks like it's too, um, too out of the place. So what I'll start doing now is just cutting uh, the enclosure in half and shelling it and removing the, uh, the cutouts. So we'll start off by selecting the enclosure, the main enclosure. It's still solid. It's not split up anyway. So to split that up, we'll go up here and go to Modify and then click on Split Solid. Since the body is already selected, we'll click on Split Entity and then we're going to click on this, um, this, this edge here, this line, this polyline. And then we're going to use that polyline to cut it in half. So it's uh, using that as the split entity. So you can see a little preview, the little red area showing how it's going to cut it. And I'll just hit uh, OK like that. And now it's split um, in two. So I can select the top half and hide that. And I want to create a shell in this solid. So what I'll do is I'll hit J on my keyboard and then hover over the edge, um, the top edge of that enclosure cutout. And you'll see that it instantly adds that, thick, that, uh, that shell. I want the, the enclosure to be 1.5 mil thick, so I'll go ahead and do that. 1.5, hit enter. And now I can start um, removing some of the, uh, the cutouts from the bottom enclosure. So I'll do that. It looks like I need to modify the HDMI port just a little bit. Looks like it's too high, so I'm just going to bring that down like that. And then I'll hit subtract and subtract these cutouts from the bottom enclosure like that. And then I'll work my way up. Uh, to the other parts here. So for these parts, um, actually what I'll do is I'll select the Raspberry Pi B component. And I need to start working with the individual pieces. So I'll go ahead and ungroup that by going up here to grouping and ungroup all. And then click away. And then you'll see everything is now individual. So uh, for these guys, it looks like I need to create double copies. So what I'll do is I'll actually merge these cutouts into one shape. And then I'll copy it, paste it, hit Enter, and then I will hide that, because I'm going to use that to cut out the top half. And it's hidden right now, so, so then I can work with this piece. So I'll go ahead and select or subtract the, the bottom enclosure from the cutouts here. That's USB. And you'll see it's a pretty, it's pretty big cutout there. OK, that's looking good. And I'll do the same thing for the power boost. I'll have to select it, and then I'll come up to grouping, ungroup them all. And then I will copy and paste this cutout, which is the micro USB port for charging. And I'll hide that. And then I'll subtract this from the, um, from the enclosure, like that. And it looks like I have this extra guard part. So what I'll do is I'll uh, come up here to modify. And I'm going to split that into two, just the same way we did by using 
the, uh, the, the poly line there to cut it out. And now it's cut into two. So I'll hide that part. And then I'll merge the bottom part with the bottom enclosure, just like that. OK. It's looking pretty good. Next thing I'll do is I'll start hiding um, some components from the, from, the, uh, from the power boost and start merging the standoffs where they need to be. So I'll merge the bottom there, the, the two standoffs for it, like that. And then I'll delete these. Um, I'll delete these. I actually only need one uh, hole, mounting hole, for the power boost. So that's why I'm leaving it that way right there. And everything else is OK. OK, next thing I'll do is I'm going to start uh, hiding some of the components so I can get it in there. So I'm hiding the screen. And then I'll hide the battery like that. And I'll even hide the, uh, the Raspberry Pi component. So now I can start seeing it underneath it and seeing the cutouts that I missed. So for example, I have the, uh, the micro SD card um, cutout. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll stretch out this, uh, this face here so that I can have, um, so I can get to it more um, easier. So I'll just select or subtract that from the enclosure. That's what it looks like. Looking good there. And then I'll merge uh, the standoffs uh, to the bottom enclosure, the standoffs that are for the Raspberry Pi, B plus, or B. OK, now it looks like I need a little bit of cleanup here. Looks like uh, some of the standoffs are too big. So I'll just hit P on my keyboard again. And I'll select them all and then just push them up by 1.5 so that they're flush like that. Very nice. And now they're all merged to the bottom. So it looks like I need to grab the, uh, the cutout holes for the mounting holes and move them down just a bit and then subtract them. See how they don't pull all the way through. So I'll just move them down like that. And now I can subtract the enclosure from the standoff holes, just like that. Let's hide it back there. There we go. Hit Enter. OK. Almost there. Looking pretty good. Now the next thing I need to do is to merge um, the resist standoffs with the enclosure. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit uh, the merge command and merge these three uh, bigger standoffs because it's going to it's going to fasten the two enclosures together. So I enter, and then I will subtract the uh, the inner parts from them, just like that. Yeah. Now, it looks like the, uh, the standoffs were too big, just like the ones before. So I'll go ahead and hit P on my keyboard and select the edges there, or the, the faces, and just push them up. Looks like, like, like five, like that, 2.5. And now it's nice and flush with the, uh, the, the surface there. So it's looking good. And now I will hide, or actually, I will select the remaining uh, standoffs up here. And I'll come up here because they're still grouped. So I'm going to go up here and go to ungroup all just so I can uh, hide these parts. Because I want to delete, um, I want to punch a hole out through these guys. So I'll select or I'll subtract uh, these two standoffs or these three standoffs or holes from the standoffs like that. And now we have a nice hole. OK, it's looking pretty good. Now it looks like this is pretty much going to be it for the bottom part. So what I'll do now is I'll come up here and say, uh, show all the solids so I can see them. And I'm going to start working with the top half now. So now that we have uh, most of the parts done for the bottom half, I'll go ahead and hide that. And then I will start like, uh, like we did on the, on the bottom half and hit J on my keyboard, hover over the surface there, put 1.5 to shell it. And now we have a shell like that. I'll go ahead and um, hide some of these components that they're in the way. OK. So we got the Pi, the screen, and the, uh, the ports there, the USB ports. We got a little bit of stuff there still. And then the actual screen PCB. OK. So the biggest cutout is, of course, for the screen. So I'll go ahead and subtract that now. And also um, select the, uh, the ports there. So there we go. Hide the power boost stuff there. Looks like we need to subtract the power boost cutout for the micro USB. So we'll cut that there. And then I'll merge the standoffs for the power boost PCB and the side there like that. And then I'll subtract that single 
um, mounting hole for the PCB. Okay, now we're left with the four standoffs and we'll merge those now. Those are for the Pi TFT. Merge those first and then subtract the holes from the standoffs. You're getting pretty close. I think all that's left is the switch, the slide switch, so we'll subtract the cutout from there and then we'll merge the little clips that hold it in place to the, to the enclosure. And then we're looking pretty good. Now all we need to do is um, put some holes into these standoffs here. So I'll go ahead and merge them to the enclosure like that, because they weren't, just like that. And it looks like I'm missing one of the, um, the posts. So I'll go ahead and show the solids. I probably hit it. Hopefully I hit it and didn't delete it. Yep. So hide it there. And I'll select the three um, mounting holes. And then we'll move them down, just like that. They don't need to be too far in, just enough, like that. So now I'll go ahead and subtract the holes from the standoffs. OK? And we're looking pretty good. This is, this is looking pretty good. So we'll, uh, we'll show all the solids and show um, how everything's looking. It doesn't look like anything's uh, getting intersected or too much in the way. So it looks pretty good. Now the only thing I think we could do to optimize it is to adjust this here. And I wouldn't suggest just, you know, pushing it all the way back that way because then you're gonna you're gonna run into this guy. It looks like there's a little bit of room that you can play with there, but then you're getting pretty close to that uh, that cut off that standoff there that, that keeps the two together. So I definitely encourage you to definitely play around with it. If you want it thinner, if you want it shorter, you can you can totally do that. This is just a quick sort of uh, introduction to show you, or a walkthrough rather, to show you how uh, how you can uh, drop in your new component and just adjust your older projects uh, and to become newer projects. So I have yet to 3D print this, so I'm sure it'll work pretty well. And um, I'll be sure to let you guys know how it turns out. But you let me know how it turns out if you want to uh, do the, the edits and things. So uh, again, you can check this out on the Adafruit Learning System. You can check out the, the 1, 2, 3D file there or on Thingiverse. Um, let me guys, like guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to check those out. And that's pretty much this week's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm there. You can see some behind the scenes stuff. And um, that's pretty much it. I'll be sure to see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.